was on the road that summer going for one of my long drives. I stopped at a little diner, looked like Canadian Tire. Got a call. It was waiting for me. Mom had died. I haven't been through here in years. It's quite the place to see. I'm not even sure how to get to the old family farm. But I know it's over here somewhere. It's been so many years since I've been back. She didn't have much, just a farm. Dad died years ago. So long now, I can't even remember. But she's gone now. And all I have left of her is an old pickup truck. There's no uh, reasoning behind some of these life's events. And sometimes you hope things will work out, but they don't. And the world will just eat you alive. And I can tell you one thing though, the world hasn't got me yet. They haven't even seen the rabbits around here that I've seen. But we're going home. We're going to check it out, see what's left. The house was already sold. There's not much of that left. You know, sometimes even myself, the love cowboy, doesn't always have the best of luck. Certainly not with money. But here we are, the old farm. Everybody, scapegoats back in Farming Simulator 22, and I'm super excited about it. Look at my license plate. Look, look at this. Love cowboy. It fits. Sorry about the funny introduction. I just want to do something weird. So, basically, I already bought this farm, and I have this truck. And apparently, we own these two fields. You can't just buy one. You had to get them both. Um, mom's house is a little decrepit, and I I can't sleep in it. And I don't really want to sleep in the house that my mother died in. So I think, for the sake of my mother, the love cowboy, we're home. We're just home. And I'm happy about it. I think that uh, this is going to be a good one. Now, technically, this is ready to harvest. But I don't think I have the machinery for that. Now, I want to play a series on this. Uh, when the mods start coming out, where I start with nearly nothing except for maybe a small piece of land or maybe nothing at all and have to build my empire from the ground up. But right now, since this is already here, we're going to start this. I think we're just going to go uh, go for it. That's canola, right? This is 100% grown. It's ready to harvest. What's this? It's growing. Um, it's soybeans. Okay, well. I think we're going to need some form of, I don't know. <laughs> I think we're going to need a combine, but we're also going to need, what is that falling down there? What is that? That's a bird. Okay. We're going to need a combine. We're also going to need a tractor of some sort when that's over. But those are ready to harvest. So if I go to my map, I wonder if this is the same. Saving content. Excellent. Okay. Where is the Oh, there it is. Okay. We're going to go here. All right. Excellent. We're here. Okay. We got to hit our, okay. So I'm going to need a, a, a harvester of some sort harvester. Here we go. This time I don't have any real money. Um, not like last time. Uh, we're going to get this. I think is this, does this do soybean or does this do canola? Yeah. So canola is these flowers here. So we're going to, Oh, we don't have a ton of money. We're going to buy this out, I think. This is 70 grand. Can I still got a tractor? Can I can I lease it? Sure. Okay, we're going to lease it for 3,825. Okay. So now we're going to need header right is that under tools oh here we go headers i'm not sure which one goes on that one but this one does canola so we're going to lease this as well 
because <laughs> we're cheap now. Okay. All right, let's get outside. There it is. Okay. Um, hopefully it's got fuel in it because it, it better. Oh, wait, I got to start the engine. Here we go. So my plan for this whole thing is to create a series. Oh, we're breaking stuff already. There we go. All right. Okay. So we're here now. Now, we got to get back to the farm, which I'm not sure entirely where it is from here. So we're going to look. Let's see, we're there. Oh, God. The farm's all the way across the... Okay. Well, we're going to be a little while. Actually, I could go left and then up and then down. Okay. Let's try that. All right. And we want to watch out for traffic. Is this the road I want, maybe? Yeah, so we're just going to go this way. All right, here we go. Because we're going to start losing money very quickly. <laughs> and I think that... Uh, it's going to go really bad, I think. So hopefully we can get this all figured out. Um, but yeah, we're going to go back to the farm with this. And we're going to try to harvest that. Now, this isn't very fast. And I don't think it goes any faster than this. But it's a lovely machine. Isn't it, though? All right, so we're it's gonna it's gonna take forever to get home in this. Um, I don't want to cause problems <laughs> by cutting across fields and stuff. I don't know how the game really works. Like this is like like I don't know if they've added stuff or if it's different like that. But we're gonna figure this out. But let me get back to the house. We'll see if we can't take up that canola. Okay, so we're home. Now I got to figure out if I can get this crop off. It's already here. Last time I didn't bother. But I think, I think I'm going to do one. It's not going to be very much money. I can tell you that much. So I got to remember how to do this. So lower the header. Turn on the harvester. And then we just kind of go to town, right? Perfect. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is going super good already. I'm already making money. Well, I'm not making money yet, but I, 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 have, I have a whole bunch of loan to pay back right now. Like I said, I want to do a series where I start with absolutely nothing. I think that'd be hilarious from a noob standpoint. Trying to figure it all out. Trying to figure out how to, like, grow something from nothing. Boy, this is a really slow, uh, slow combine here. And I'm hoping I can just deliver it in the combine. Because I don't want, like, I don't want to be the guy who has to go get a truck and all that stuff. I don't know where the grain mill is, and it's going to probably take a while to get there. But I definitely want to do it. And see if I can't just drop it off in the combine. Because that'll give us some starting cash. And that'll be perfect. Oh, look at this. Here we go. This is working out. This is working out. I love it so far. It's great. I'm going to close that up as often as I remember. Because it just hogs up a bunch of good screen real estate. And the screen real estate in this game is at, is at a premium as it is. And I'm definitely going to, when I do it my, my full series, I am definitely going to um, use my, my wheel. Because I think it would just add to the whole, feels like you're driving a tractor thing. Oh, this is going well. It's going super well. I'm not sure we're going to be able to fit this entire field in my combine. But we're going to try. <laughs> I'm just going to UE in here and take take out a swath from the middle here. There we go. Hardcore U-turn in my giant thing. 
that I'm leasing for next to nothing. There we go. And I'm going to make this turn. We're going to try to make this turn here. Perfect. Oh, okay. There we are. Ah, yes. Canola is probably not worth very much because I'm playing on the hardest economy. <laughs> oh, look out, birds. Get out of the way. I'm, I'm combining. Do you not see? Jeez. Respect to birds these days. There we go. And we're going to make this turn onto this. Oh, it's just wide enough to get most of it. Like, this isn't even going to be half of the... Like, this is going to... Well, I guess it might be close to half. But it's going to be barely half of this. Okay, we left, we left a little bit. That's okay. Okay, we're going to take this and go like this. So we're playing on Elm Creek. And it looks like cool map because uh, being that I'm from North America, all those uh, European farms look really strange to me. <laughs> I think we may be having some weeds in here too, but I don't care. I just want to get this crop off. Get this last little bit. And we'll go, okay, you know what, lift this up because I go a little faster when this is up. And then we'll drop it and get it this way. Perfect. Okay. That's the whole field. Now we got to check the map and see where we deposit said things. So it's going to probably be this silo, which is a bit of a hike from where we are, to be honest. Um, this could take a bit <laughs> to get down that way. So we got to go back down the road out of the house, hang a left onto the high. Oh, wait a minute. Follow that road out. That's all we really got to do. Then we can come under here and then through. Okay, this works. This works. So follow the road and keep following it until we get to the edge of town. All right. Got it. All right. Let's turn that off. Going to see if we can't fit this through the gate. And squeeze. Okay. There's a whole herd of deer over here. What's going on, guys? Are you guys having a good time, too? What's up? Ladies, men, gentlemen. Oh, God, side. Okay. Okay. We're driving about as well as we did on the long drive. All right, here we go. This is going okay. Like I said, I want to get a feel for it. Do like an introductory video kind of thing. See where it's all going to go. And it's all going to go down that road. 4,100 miles. In my slow, slow combine. Ugh. You know, it's weird too. I've, I've watched uh, Daggerwind play this a little bit. Well, yeah, well, this a little bit. And he always calls it a combine harvester, never just a combine. I think it must be a North American thing to shorten it to combine. Okay, this is going. Look at this. We're already at the crossroads. We only got 4,700 miles to go. We're going to blow this stop sign. There's no cops, right? Nah, not going to blow it. Who knows? All right, excellent. We stopped. We're good. There's people walking. Look. He's behind the tree. Hang on a sec. Look at him go. Look at him go. He is doing his business, man. He is doing his thing. Also, too, as the series progresses, I'm going to start adding fast forward stuff and things like that, like I was doing in... Uh, 19 because it just feels like like all this driving and stuff is going to use up a lot of time and if we can skip over that by maybe leaving it in but doing a fast sequence for it it could be kind of cool if we ever get where we're going there's the grain silo i can see it from here at least i'm not holding up traffic there's all sorts of people out for a walk today look at them go look at that that's cool there's a little more life to the world but yeah, I want to get mods for this, for sure. This is a game that I need to mod for particular reasons. Uh, oh, is this, is this the road I need? It is the road I need. Excellent. 
Um, cause I want to get like an editor so I can, uh, edit my starting money down, maybe get a different map when I start my series. I just got to wait for some of them to come out. Um, and I want to start with next to nothing. I learned how to like cut down trees and fimula fimulator, <laughs> farming simulator 19. And I thought maybe what I could do is start the story off with just a pickup truck and a chainsaw and absolutely no money and I can, I can uh, maybe maybe like a small piece of property and that's it and just build from there and see if it's even possible and then play on hard so the because I was reading what the hard setting does um, one you start out with a loan instead of money and two uh, the other part of it is um, the what is that oh it's cars above me geez that startled me um, where was, I, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, and the economy is a little bit odd. Whereas in, like, pl prices aren't great, and it fluctuates constantly. Now, I'm hoping I can just stick out this arm and drop this off, but I guess we're going to find out. I wondered that the last time I played, you know? No, I didn't know anything about the map, so I hope, hopefully, these people don't mind me driving my combine down their city streets. What's up, guys? Just being a combiner. Now, I grew up in the small farming community. And so seeing a combine driving through the center of town was not that, uh, not that strange. Oh, we got to cross a little bridge. Are we going to fit? I <laughs> hope we're going to fit. Look out for the, we're going for the sign there. All right, here we go. Over the bridge. Oh, look at that. That's just like where I used to live. All right, where was it? Oh, here we go. Now we're going to go in here and see if we can't just dump this grain. <laughs> I'm coming in. Can I pipe out? Oh no, it's stuck. Oh no. We gotta put the pipe in. Okay, so this isn't gonna work. We're gonna need to. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? What are you? You have found a harvester. Nine more harvesters to collect. All right. So this was a waste of my time to come down here with this. Uh, this combine. So what we need to do is get some sort of trailer apparatus for this. Or not for this, but for uh, picking stuff up. Okay. Um, we're going to the stow. <laughs> let's, let's go to the map. And we're going to the stow. And the stove was 100 million miles away. I like this. Because that'll hold substantial. But we need we need something to pull it around with. And that's going to have to be a tractor, I think. I think a tractor will work for this. So let's find a tractor because we already have a small truck. So the small tractor? Do I want a medium tractor? What do I want? We don't want a medium tractor. That's 120. Oh, it's a Massey Ferguson, though. Look at this old beast. You know what we're buying this? Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Look how beautiful this is. This is like so classic tractor. <gasps> Wheel brand. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Fancy. Wheel setup. Standard. Narrow. Twin wheels. Standard front loader attachment. Now I'm going to... I'm going to get that because I might be able to use a front loader thing at some point. I think I'm going to buy this though. So I own this. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to go back. We're going to go find a trailer this time that appropriately fits that. And where was that trailers? Here we go. Trailers. Now I'm going to buy, do I want this? This is how much is 
Oh, this holds a lot more. I think it's a 12 metric, 12.1 meters cubed. Oh, this can hold more actually. Why is it so cheap then? I'm going to get this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wheel setup. Configuration, extension, non-extension. Okay. We'll get uh, some uh, Michelin tires on that baby. Standard tires, I guess. What's it? Oh, we can change the chassis color. Oh, ho, 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 it's so green. Oh my God. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to buy this too. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to go outside and this, I, I, hopefully this tractor can tow this. Okay. Come on. Oh, attach. Oh, excellent. Okay. So now let's get rid of this. We just got to get back to the grain silos. Is that them over there? That is not them over there. But what we, oh my God, there's no direct route, is there? No, because there's no, the stupid train goes to the middle of town. All right, so we're going to hang a right and then a left right when we get outside of town. All right, here we go. This trailer's probably a bit big for this tractor, but. Oh, it's, it's so much faster than my combine. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Let's zoom it out a little bit so you can see it. All right, look at this. This is such a better setup than towing that thing around with my truck. So, yeah, the only problem is I'm going to run into is I leased that that uh, harvester. And look at my money already. I'm at 89 grand. Support your local farmers. Don't tell me you live my life. And so... It's, it's going to become a problem very quickly. Money. <laughs> I'm in this. So we need to get something in the ground we can make money off of. And quickly. And we also got to worry about the season because I think the seasons are turned on. So this is going to be a fun one, boys. I, I can tell you that right now. The love cowboy rides again on his mighty mechanical steed. I'm going to call you mass. Look at the detail on this thing. Okay, here we go. We're back this out so we can see it again. Okay. I love Cowboys. Great. But now we own a tractor, which is great. We still got to figure out a way to get a plow or a disc or whatever. I'm not sure what canola is worth right now. I haven't been back to the farm in a little bit. Who knows? But we're coming through at 100 miles an hour here. Well, 39 kilometers an hour. Whatever. Like 23 miles an hour. <laughs> Excellent. This isn't so bad. I think I just got to blow through this spot here because I have no stop sign. So that's cool. Keep going. And then we'll get to... That was close. We'll get to the bridge. Yep, there's the bridge. Oh, let's see if we can ramp it. Come on, baby. Jump. Oh, it did, it did a little hop. Okay. All right, so now we're going to get through here. And then... We're going to come over on this side, like this. We're going to get out of this, leave that running for a sec. There we go. Let's see if this does it. Oh, there we go. So this isn't going to be worth a ton. I haven't even checked the price of this stuff yet. So it's probably not worth a ton, maybe a grand, I'm going to assume. I haven't even checked pricing, so because we don't have to worry about pricing right now. Now we'll just... It says it's empty. Okay. Oops, I better not leave that running. I think in the last game it turned off automatically. When he got out of the tractor, at least mine did. Okay, maybe there's a setting for it. I don't know. So we're going to zip around here and then bring it up into the uh, selling point and just do that. All right. See, look. Let's say we're going to make $40 million. No, we're going to say $21,000. We're going to think positive, people. Positive. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pull this on over this. Okay. Start overloading. Got it. 
What? Is that it? Did it dump it already? Did I, did I dump? Why did I get? Did I? I didn't see how much money I made. Okay, I gotta go check something. That, I don't think I made any money. There's a fire extinguisher. Good safety. I like that. All right, so let's get this tractor home then. Maybe I can't remember how much money I had prior. I guess I'll check. We got to get the tractor home. And then I might uh, unleash the combine. Oh, I'm going to need it again though, aren't I? Okay, here we go. We're going home on our first successful harvest. Look at this. It took me like 11 episodes to get to this point before. And now here we are. Oh, that's a sign. But oh, that's fine. We're doing all right. Okay, jump it. Yes. Okay. So I think I only made a couple of grand. But I'm used to the numbers popping up there. I must have just missed it. Because I'm an idiot. And I just didn't see it. We are just about home. Um, I was going to leave the footage in. But then it was like super boring of me trying to do a three-point turn for about four minutes. So anyway, let's see here. Well, I turned it down to real time so I didn't waste too much daylight. But I jagged it back up to start moving. All right. So we got, we got that done. And we're going to bring this home. And park it, I'm not sure where, but uh, I think in the driveway is going to have to do for now. All right. First harvest done. So if anybody's got any ideas for maps uh, for a series, I would love to see them. And in, as they come out over the next week or two, we will uh, switch over to that and start a full-on, like, from scratch playthrough. If we know anybody who makes maps in this, it'd be great to see one with that limited uh, amount of starting stuff. But uh, you can find me on my Discord if you want to talk about that. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Ah, there we go. Doesn't feel right unless I'm doing this now. Uh, yeah, um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I really did. I really did. If, and if you liked it, you should hit the little bell. That gives you future notifications. You can hit the like button, which apparently does something. And you can even comment, which I try to get back to as many as I can. So, uh, and if you didn't like this, well, you probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I am not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat! I'm already obsessed with this. Don't judge me. Out.